Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this Toshiba microwave, and this thing is fantastic. Uh, first, I have to let you know that they did send me this product for review, but everything I say in this video is my own opinion, and they have no say in what I say, but they wanted me to show you what it is, how it works, some of the features of it, and that kind of stuff. So first, I mean, I have this on my little cheat sheet here because this is a seven-in-one countertop microwave. So this has a uh, microwave oven, obviously. It has an air fryer feature, inverter technology, convection and broil. It has speedy combi, which is a combination. You can, you can actually set it to go microwave for part of it, and then um, you know broil or convection, different things like that. Um, it has an even defrost uh, type of feature. So it, when you defrost like a, a big chunk of meat or something like that, you're not going to have a cold spot and then cooked in another spot. Uh, humidity sensor cooking. This is a one cubic foot microwave. It's 30 quarts in 1000 watts. And they also give you this recipe book here. This is 47 recipes um, in this thing. It is, uh, it's really good. I mean, beautiful pictures. And it tells you it's, it's designed by the people that do this. So it's very simple. It gives you all the information um, in here on how to use the microwave for these recipes. Uh, very, very nice uh, stuff there. And we're going to get a bunch of other things here. You're going to get a, a couple little grilling racks like that. You can see some grilling racks. You're going to get an air fryer tin. So you can put that on top like that there and put your, your uh, things you want to air fry. And then it also comes with a solid one for like broiling and things like that on that or defrosting. You can do that. And of course, there is the, uh, the pretty standard nowadays um, glass turntable uh, thing that you just pop in here like that. But we're going to go ahead and come on in and I'm going to give you a closer look at the controls. Okay, here's a closer look at the control panel. You do have, of course, your clock, which is standard. And if you notice something different about this versus a lot of microwaves is there's no keypad. There's no numbers on this, which kind of threw me off, <laughs> but um, you don't need to. Now there is a power button. So if you hit the power button and you can use the control knob to go to different power settings. So if you want 50% of power, you can do that. And again, in the, in the instruction book, in the recipes, it tells you what to do. They give you a guide anyway. So you can set it to whatever you want to do it. Or you can press the power button. Every time you press it, it changes. Or you can use the, the knob. It's just simple to do that. Uh, you just hit that uh, button there, which is kind of the, the start button to set that. Let's button over here is a, a fry button, which is your, your French fry thing. And again, there's different settings available. There is again, cheat sheet in the manual for what each one of those do. Broil and bake. Again, the same thing. You have your temperature controls and then you can also set it for your time as well. So there's all kinds of things you can do with the broil and bake. The combination, again, that was the like microwave and convection or microwave and, um, and broil. The, just the two. Those are the two options for that one. And then Pro Defrost. There is a listing of what each defrost number is. Pretty much you're going to need a little cheat sheet with you for a lot of these features. Um, unless you can memorize them. But um, it is very nice. A lot of options for your defrost. Sensor cook, again, same thing. Several different options available there. Uh, your kitchen timer, this is how I set the clock, or you can have a countdown timer. So if you, if you uh, want to bake something at 350 degrees for you know, 20 minutes, you do the, the bake for that, and then you do the kitchen timer for the timer part. And then the sound and lock, you can turn off your sounds, um, your beeps and sounds and things like that if you want to. And then again, this is the, the start button. And then that's your pause or stop button there. So no clock, no, no, um, I mean, no timer uh, keypad kind of thing on there. It's all just controlled by the different settings and the different options on there. So now inside the microwave, you do have your glass tray that rotates like uh, most microwaves do these days. There's a light up in there inside. And again, you can have these metal trays. You can put the metal trays in there, but you do gotta be careful to make sure you're not on the microwave function. Uh, only use these if you're on the bake broil or air fryer, uh, those kind of functions there, uh, because metal's not good in microwave. Uh, we're all taught that I think by now. But anyway, so you can use 
all these different things if you want to cook your uh, your uh, chicken wings or whatever you want to fry uh, you know heat up or cook uh, frozen french fries those kind of things my favorite are onion rings I love to do onion rings in these so there you have it, a quick little look at the Toshiba 7-in-1 microwave. This thing does a lot of stuff, but please uh, read the instructions, read the manual, uh, and also don't forget these recipes. This food looks really, really good. So if you're looking for a nice countertop microwave that does pretty much any kind of cooking you're ever going to need, this one may be the right one for you.